leu ne joe ne kugia na mundu wa kunyonia ageni maigira eh ono cio moigwa dagweta damba kumugweta tu no ni tuli tuli murata wa kwa muno na ni joe twe na ngiguku ageni but i need somebody to guide me nigeda to recognize na ona inyue inyue ageni aitu omuthi we really recognize you eh uh, dearly tero hau ni guthira gi guthirete de kiroki go dia ni nogithiti atwarana ni siengirana bas eh uh, ni gweda eh uh, Yes, drona agina ituno mara ingira na you can see whoever is around here like Anasha if you need something he or she will help you whether it's some water whether it's some anything that you need and we have our Mr Chairman Wakamati Prof twena ke guku kogwo nake munge dodu no ekumuteithia na ogre oh all right um Leke tuwe terere eh, toke ineru iboto odo kanitha ya haku heko igera. And mwana keo yo no DJ, ah, ne, ne MC, na no mu ini, ne toko yuwa we ini wa keo leo dhiyaga. Thank you. Thank you very much. Leo itwe tereire kanitha ege yoke. Duko to keina rwebo. Rwitha ino wa program sheet to page 12. Um, page 13. Higari atenema. As we wait for the church. And uh, I'm also advised that we have the deputy governor from Moranga. Let's give him a better crap. Yes. But when that came... When that time comes to recognize our VIP, it will be done by our clergy, so, and we will be there. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, where? Oh, my, my. 
nada appreciate that you're here. I want to thank you for your patience and you want to start this program. And I will request uh, Lashara, we start with the Rock of Ages and thereafter Elder Kennedy, Kennedy you give us an opening prayer. Uh, on page 12 the song is there in the English version Rock of Ages. Page 12. Rock of Ages clear for me let me hide myself in thee in the water and the brand from my evil side which fall be of sin and double care cleanse me from its guilty power nothing in my heart I bring see We shall sit down and continue in prayer. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we submit ourselves in your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts this afternoon. We come before the Lord to say thank you for bringing us together. Thank you, Lord, that we're able to be alive today to come and celebrate one of us. Thank you, Lord, that takes your hand of protection and providence. We are thankful, Lord. Thank you for every one of, every one of us who has come, and even those who are coming, Lord, we pray that you guide them. As that we continue celebrating the life of our brother, David, Lord, we invite your presence. Come and minister to us, to our hearts. Come and co comfort the family, Nancy and the children, the friends, and everybody alike, Lord. We invite you. We invite your presence, Holy Spirit. 
come to this service. Give us strength. As we remember our brother, our, uh, David, uh, who was a husband, uh, a brother, a sister, a, a father, a friend. Lord, we commit this service to you. And as we continue the service, your presence shall be with us. Guide us and lead us and be with us now and always. This is our prayer of faith, and we pray this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We continue with the words of this election. Tudina Berek Kujua. Tidelo Christo, ni ari okete ya kauma kure aliakuo, agitonya mtaine wa bere wa adu alia makuete amuko na ati ni modo watu mirege kuo goke kuo o uguo neguo modo watu mire kolioka kwa adu alia akuo goke onakuo nigo koloo otaulea adu othe makuwaga ni odo wa adamu no guo othe makari uka maga shoka muoyo ni odo wa kristo ale aithe witu olea guga ni atili ati ati nyama na dhakame iti gihota kogaya muoyo kana uza maki wa gai kana ko no lele guga atile praise the lord the shiria uh ikoyo tike hodogwa uh we gekuo geke Lofola loa kulo lo kireha, lofola loa ge kuo neruo we hia na guo hinya wa we hia uma naga na wado norere gai alo gado we olia oto oto maga toho nokio neodo wa mada ni wito Jesus Christo hakire oguo olia alio afafa alia nyede temuno ikalagai um, mwa mwelo metie mutego the mutego the uh, mutego the na mute uh, muti getigire hede shiode mulutage wera wa mwadani na muga kiragereria niodo wa komenya ulea wera ulea uh, mwe naguo naguo ti wa toho muke muke ruta nageria mu ti monyita nete hamwe na mwadhani mwadhani wito akirabi Praise the Lord. Bonas Fiwe, Mother Nyagosho. We want to thank God this morning that we've been able to come here. And I'm studying here on behalf of PCA of a great church. To Keda Kumu, welcome. We want to welcome each one of you to this service. And thank you for coming out. Thank you for studying with this family. We are so, so grateful. I also want to welcome the elders, the ministers who are here, and I just want to recognize the elders who are with us this morning. Um, we have Elder Kimiti, we have Elder Catherine, our session clerk, she's the one leading the service today. We have our evangelist, Purity. Do we have any other elders from PC Evergreen who might be in the congregation? I think they're still coming, and I know we have some from PCA Motuine, Motuine Parish, Karibuni Sana, 
Could there be other elders who are sitting there? You can be up studying. We would just want to recognize you. Thank you. Could there be any other? Yes, thank you. Karibu sana. I just want to say that the family of uh, Bona Kemani and Nancy were worshipping with us at PC Evergreen and specifically members of Mimosa District where I shepherd, I am the elder district and they were my members and very, and very, very close friends. And uh, we are here to just bring our condolences, Nancy, to you and the family. And we know that God's grace is sufficient. So karibu sana, and we are praying that God would refresh you as you refresh this family. I will now uh, invite our reverend, uh, Reverend Nehemiah Boro, who we came with, to welcome the ministers or the pastors who may be here. Praise be to God, church. Amen. Yeah, this is a big church. Let's just raise up, up the heart and say, praise, praise be to God. Amen. I want to recognize all the ministers and pastors who have come. If you are there, you can stand up where you are. If you can, if you're a pastor, if you're a minister, leveled any name that you are called in your church. Are you there? It's Leverett Commander, I can see you. You can be coming this side. We have more seats. If you're a pastor, there are more seats here. We can house you here in front. We need more people in the outer. Just come and uh, give us more warmth. And uh, I know that we also have uh, Reverend here, Reverend Lucy, from all sins. So welcome also. And we shall do this work of God together because we are many. I know we are so many, we have many visitors even politicians, and I will give that law to another person thereafter. Yes, my friend. Uh, yeah, so maybe thereafter so that people may come. Afterwards, we shall give you that law. So welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Minister Leverett Bolu. Uh, we thank God for this far you have come, and now we are getting into a Time for getting to hear the eulogy, which is going to be read by Mr. Diangoi. Please, Diangoi, come and read the eulogy. Allow me to move my mask. Um, I'm here with my brother, D, or Diangui, as has been said, and we'll be sharing the reading of the eulogy. And so I shall start. So in the beginning, I'll only say this the first time, the late David Kimani Kongo, but after this I'll call him the D, was born in Dagoreti, Motoine, location at Manyata on the 28th of June, 1962 and as the fifth and last born of Johanna Kongo Getahi and the late Panina Wamando Kongo. His siblings are the late Hannah Washuka Kongo and the late Grace Paturi Kangede, the late Stephen Getahi and Esther Wamboy Salatin. Growing up, Daddy grew up as an obedient child to his parents. He was funny, witty, and had an incredible sense of humor. Which, which saw his father nickname him Konyeki. Konyeki is a colloquial reference to a cartoon-like character found in early comic books of the time. From a young age, he grew vegetables at his father's farm. He especially loved to grow skumawiki and onions because he could get a share of the proceeds after they were sold. He started showing signs of boldness and confidence 
at an early age. Daddy would drive his father's car to sell produce when he was just 13 years old. So Congo and D, when you guys were doing the same, <laughs> you're just following in daddy's footsteps. He was also a problem solver par excellence. His older sister, auntie, remembers a situation where a water irrigation pipe broke down. Daddy was 10 years at the age of this time. And since auntie was scared of the bursting pipe and the splashing water, she asked him to call their much older sister to help. But daddy, the problem solving, Konyaki dismissed her and said, there's no point in us calling her. They just need a few plastic papers to tie up the pipe and stop the water from bursting out. He quickly assembled his quote unquote tools and used these papers to join the pipes and the problem was solved. When it comes to church, daddy was baptized and confirmed David Daniel Kimani at PCA Givima Church in 1972. He was a member of Givima Church and later transferred to Karinde PCA Church with his parents. He has done a lot of work when it comes to building churches across the country. I've seen this myself. Examples include PCA Karinde, PCA Manyata, AIPCA Mudwaine, AIPCA Tetu, the building from scratch, and many, many others. Just recently, in 2019, he organized a major fundraiser with his father-in-law to help renovate the old building that had dilapidated iron sheets and an earth floor. Honored as a chief guest, he helped complete the work and succeed in setting up a brand new modern church building with Guka. When it comes to his education, Daddy started schooling at Kitiba Primary School in Dagoreti. He sat for his East African Certificate of Education exam, later CPE, in 1974, before joining Langata High School in 1975. He went through secondary education in Langata High School until he sat for his O-level Kenya Advanced Certificate of Education examinations in 1978. Daddy was such an entrepreneur. While still in high school, he continued to advance these entrepreneurial streaks he'd already started. First, he bought loaves of bread, broke them up into little slices, and sold them at a markup. He also continued to grow vegetables in a patch provided to him by his father. He especially excelled in Italian spinach, locally, locally referred to as baracca, which took a shorter growing time. Through his savings, while he traded in bread and growing vegetables, he bought his first camera, an Olympus. This launched him into the photography business while still in high school. He took photos, mostly he was asked to bring all of his documents, which he did within the hour. He was a quick guy. After a couple of days, he submitted a quotation, which he returned, and mommy then gave him an LPO to go purchase and deliver a range of items. So mom gave him the chance. So after an hour, daddy returned with an LPO document, but without the items that mom had given him to procure. He looked exhausted and he told her, I have come to disappoint you. I do not have money to purchase these items. Since the supplies were needed urgently, she asked him, how much money do you need to do the job? And he said, if you give me 9,000 shillings, I'll be able to bring these things back. So mom wondered, okay, um, let me just do this in order for me not to lose my job. She was wondering, should she trust this man whom she didn't know? But in order to protect her job, she gave daddy the 9,000 shillings, but with the stipulation that he must come and have it done within the hour. Daddy delivered the items within 30 minutes, true to his word as always. He continued working with mommy like this, and this launched their business, his business, and ultimately his relationship with her. He has never returned the loan, <laughs> <laughs> but he, however, gave her, us, his three brilliant children, and enabled them to do business together. So in, 19, in 1992, after a few years of doing business together, they solemnized their vows at the AIPCA Church in Mudwainye. It was one of the most colorful weddings of that time with a big reception at Bombus of Kenya. They were blessed with us, three children, myself, Penina Duta, 
my brother over there, John Congo, and my brother over here, David Yangwe, who will continue leading the eulogy. Hi there, everyone. Just want to say thank you to Penina. She spoke very well. And I'll just continue now with the eulogy. So now when it came to family, dad was so kind and he, he trusted mom with a lot of critical decisions. I know that for a fact. I remember the times when I'd say, dad, can I go somewhere? Say, eh, go ask your mother. Hmm? I don't want to get in trouble. Eh? Yeah. So he gave us the freedom to choose he gave mom the choice of where we'll be educated. And we ended up going to the best schools that was available. I'm always grateful for that. And he gave us the freedom to make big family investments. Decisions to do with business and, and with independence. All of us have graduated from top universities within the world. Um, Dad was also very well traveled. He loved traveling. Um, with us sometimes, other times not with us. But he'd always make friends along the way. He cherished the experiences and memories he created while traveling. And each and every year or so when we would travel, I'm sure there was always, always a highlight of my own personal experience during the year. We had so much fun together, and Dad always cultivated an environment where open dialogue was welcomed and encouraged. No one in the family was ever afraid to share their mind, because Daddy was not afraid himself. In the, in the realm of business, as you said before, he was a visionary and an on, a serious entrepreneur. After getting married, Dad started his transition from a young, talented entrepreneur to a growing, experienced businessman. Supported by mom, from 1992, he started Office Automation, which became one of the earliest distributors of IBM and compact computers within the region. While selling computers, he identified a gap in the market and established Office Automation College in 1998, one of the earliest computer training colleges that taught students Microsoft packages, programming, and networking. A lot of people did their first training in computers at the college, including multinationals and public servants. Within the same year, Office Automation became one of the first distributors of mobile phones in Kenya, such as Ericsson, Nokia, and Alcatel. They became the very first Safaricom dealer. Later in 2007, Dad ventured into construction and was involved in high impact projects, both in the public and private sector. In, two th in 2017, as we came of age, he started focusing on business ideas that were more driven by technology. With the help of Penina, Uncle Peter, and mom, and a lot of other close knit individuals, they established a firm that started investing in startups that were driven by internet technology. He did this as a foundation to mentor us first and foremost, and uh, to mentor us first and foremost, and also to further his own love of technology and science. From these, from these ventures, um, there have been two startups born, one being Gobeba and the other Spratify. He was an early investor in both, the, uh, early investor and advisor in both startups and helping grow them to the stage where they've now attracted international investment. Dad worked hard throughout his life. You would always find dad busy coordinating his projects, even from the hospital beds. He made a difference in the communities. Saying dad was one of a kind and generous is the definition of an understatement. From helping build churches, to visiting children's homes every year with his friends, to donate food and other goods, 
His impact was felt by many. It is, however, his contribution to the education of many children from primary school to high school and university that stands out in his community work. He did this consistently, both with his extended family and outside of his own family. In addition to this, he brought together his friends for causes that mattered. He would chair and coordinate almost all events for his friends and relatives geared towards meeting objectives such as a hospital bill, wedding, funeral services, and such and so forth. He did this so much and so often that he just got the nickname of chairman. Mm -hmm. In terms of a social individual, I think he's unrivaled and unmatched. He was extremely impactful in bringing people together. This applied to f friend gatherings, as well as bringing together his family and that of moms. Mm -hmm. He was known for his captivating, robust, and open debates that bordered on public intellectualism and unending humor. I can guarantee that is true. He encouraged debate about almost anything in a way that was not only influential, but also fun. You'll always have a smile, you know? There will always be something to laugh about, even in times of seriousness. And later, this, this was also driven by the fact that he was a ferocious reader. <laughs> from everything, from science to history to philosophy, he would read, just to internalize and progress his own knowledge. Even when he was unwell, he seemed to know more than the doctor serving him. He had got his own degree, Kwa Google. Hmm? Together with his friends and the co-founders, the Lions of Good Times, he started initially, as, which started initially as a socializing group, then grew into an investment club. To date, the group has been helping its members in times of personal difficulties. Even when dad was in hospital, we would go and see him mobilizing the Lions of Good Times for a cause affecting one of their own. Dad was known for his encouraging his friends who he, taught, who, who he thought were talented in leadership and seeking leadership positions. He would start the campaign himself through word of mouth, even if the individual was reluctant. It was not unusual to hear him introduce his friend as the next governor, member of parliament, counselor, and so on and so forth. In <laughs> in a more confident way than the friend even spoke of himself. He would use his own resources to campaign for them. Dad was a social movement in himself. He was a social enigma and one of a kind. He had a way of simplifying complex issues, even those affecting him personally, and making them bearable. He was an optimist who faced challenges with a high degree of simplicity. Early on in his life, when he was wrongfully detained, he would later tell people, ah, he had just gone for further studies. <laughs> Dad was still making a joke of his illness up to his last breath. When one would go visit him in the hospital, he would tell them, ah, no, see, I'm just in the hotel. Hmm? He would call, he would call his, his pain medication Diesel. Hmm? Wow. Now his illness. In April 2020, uh, Dad started having challenges with his bladder. He went through several tests that resulted in a tumor diagnosis. He underwent surgery in Nairobi and Dubai. He remained optimistic that the issue had been dealt with and resolved. However, after a while, he had to go back to India for three months for further treatment. He came back from India with a green light that his, that his entire uh, cancer had been dealt with. Unfortunately, that was not the case. After two weeks, he had to seek medical treatment in Nairobi Hospital. He was in and out of hospital until February 5th, 2022, when he finally rested. 
Dad is survived by our own lovely mother, us siblings, Congo, Kanina. So we're here and we're part of his legacy for now and forevermore. We would have loved to have that for longer, but in the 59 years that God gave, us to, uh, God gave him to us, he has lived it. Laughed with us, loved us, learned with us, and left an amazing legacy. He has taught us how to think freely, how to make peace, how to be happy, how to improve ourselves, and how to care for those who are less fortunate than ourselves. He has lived a life worth living, a life of contribution, a selfless life, a life of genuine significance, and a life that mattered. Um, Theta, can I just say this verse? It would be Acts chapter 13, verse 36. For David, after he had served God's purpose in his generation, fell asleep and was laid to rest, ready to, hey, was laid to rest with his fathers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Penina and Diangoi. I want to thank God for giving you courage to read and say what you've said about dad that has taken the heart of God. Thank you very much. We are going to get into another difficult time of uh, reading the tributes. We have six written ones, and they are the other ones, ones we are going to read. I'll request the persons, the people coming to do so, to just read what is there. And I'll start with the all Lorenian group. And as they do that, Esther Waboy, sister, you can be getting ready. Who is reading on behalf of this group? Wako. Or we proceed. Ololarian? Ololarian? I've seen man. Then the baby. Maybe maybe yep. two third and the whatever. And even this kind of cancer probably even if we try you only make a kumio. You have to you have to accept those things. That is what I've done. And uh, when you accept things uh, become easy for you uh, because you can live as a day. You don't uh, you can do, you can do whatever you do uh, as long as you have no so much pain because if it bothers you it will create a stigma. You need uh, what we want sympathy. You are not doing the things you are supposed to do. Uh, uh, and uh, even your family and everybody will become uncomfortable because you, 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 you are seeking kind of a kind of a sympathy, and you transfer. If you, you, you know if you are sad, you you transfer. Uh, so you keep. Uh, the best thing is to accept. Iko iko. The way it is is the way it is, and you can live a day, pick it as it is. Uh, issue of. Uh, death or whatever I speak uh, and I know now like uh, my daughter will be a bit emotionally uh, when I'm doing the power of attorney because it is as if you know I'm preparing myself fully so when now when you, assign, you sign those kind of people get a bit of emotion because they say as if you are signing as if you have said you are going to die but I'm doing it uh, because I may die I'm also going to die. I'm not going to say I'm going to die. But dying, I may. You get it. Uh, those are reality. Those are reality. Those are reality. Uh, people fear to speak uh, the consequence of what I'm facing. Think when, uh, even if you're in a boardroom, you look at our options. What, 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 what can happen, isn't it? In a, in a strategy, prepare for the worst scenario. Hope for the best. Uh, that is what I do. And that is maybe what scares them is that um, uh, they don't want to, me to mention the worst. <laughs> but you see, at all, uh, it has happened to others with God. Then they were still with God. So I say, let, let's face 
or scenario. Maybe that is what scare, I'm, uh, I'm sure it is scare them, but it's also strengthen them. Because uh, we do scenario. Like now, I was joking, they said, so imagine now I die in India. Why, why put me in a cup? Why can't you buy her, a designer hard bag, criminate me, put me a hard bag, I, I come in the passenger. Is there, in a, as a passenger, in a, in a, in a designer. <laughs> Thank you very much. I just wanted you to see who Kemani was. Plain, simple, clear, focused. He belonged to a group of friends called Olorian a name coined by Ole Magello, who I believe he's celebrating with up there. We were a family of 12, Ole Magello being one of them, sadly also Kiarie, who ha also left us three months ago, and now Kimani. We are left just a few of us. And it puts our hearts in pain when you are only 12 families and you lose three in one year. We had lost one other a few years back, the late Dick Wadeka. So we are asking you, clergy, pray for the Mutamayu group. Pray for us. We are asking you also to remember us. We lived like family. We have seen these children who are reading this grow from when they were young. And it's very painful to see this fam young family losing their dad. But I want to assure you you will always have a dad. Olorien is there. We will be there for you. Finally, I just want to say to the family, my brother Kimani, most people saw him as a non-believer because quite often he would tease that uh, religion or church is really just in people's minds. There is really no such a place called heaven. And he will have a very vibrant debate about that. But I told him, God has also given us ability to make those interrogations. That's God's power. And there will be one day that you realize God is supreme in our lives. It did happen. So, surely, one time I was speaking to him, and I think we were with Kenodia and uh, Maura. I don't know where Maura is. And uh, he told us, now I can understand why you believe in a God. So I said, hallelujah. This man has recognized that there is a supreme God watching over us. And he finished by saying, it makes sense to believe in something whose power you do not know. I left it at that, isn't it, Maura? We left it like that, and unfortunately, I took off to go to Meru. But from Meru, I was told that a nurse who was left with Kemani, was asked by Kemani, do you believe in God? And she said, yes. And he said, please pray for me. And they prayed for a long time. And during the prayer, Kemani said, God, if you can hear me, if I have ever done something, if I have ever said something, if I have ever even mentioned something that hurt and brings you uh, worry over me. Please forgive me. So the nurse asked him, do you want to pray? 
he continues to say, God, if you have power, if you are a powerful God, please forgive me for anything that I may have wronged you. And at that point, the lady continued praying and uh, my brother was quiet and she realized that she had to leave him to rest for a while. When the, the family visited, he continued to ask for prayer. So there was a prayer by one of our Olorian group members. So God has gone, Kimani has gone, having recognized the power of God. And that's the message I bring you. Please uh, support the family and continue the work that Kimani was so known for, being a lover of people, being a committed giver. That guy gives without reservation. So if God is a giver, this guy was made by God in a big way. He would never find somebody who was needy and leave him. And uh, that was his nature. So thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Professor. Now, even those who had not met Mr. Kimani, they know him. Uh, Esther, our boy, it's your time. I would request that we just read what is written here. I know the others were coming. Let's just read what we have written so that we save on time. Esther. Praise God. Praise God again. I thank the Almighty God for giving me Kimani as a brother. He always came through for me when I was in need of help and the community at large. I will always remember the good times we had together. To me, I will describe him as a good Samaritan, he fully understood the parable. Luke 10, 25 to 37. He loved everyone, including his enemies. He was on the forefront in taking care of the entire Washuka and Yetahi family. I also remember him as a man of great intelligence. In our childhood, one day I woke up earlier than him and took the washing basin to clean my uniform before him. While I was just holding on to the tap to draw water to wash my school uniform, he threw an object in front of me and shouted, my boy, Kenyamo. This really scared me, making me drop the basin and run back into the house and brief at a breakneck speed. He took the basin and did his laundry before me. I also remember times when we were being served tea by our mother. He would hide his cup and would end up getting a second help. Before, even before I, I got the first cup. His weepy behavior made my father to nickname, to nickname him as Konyeki. Throughout his life, he never hid his lamb under the table. Rather, he put it where everyone could see it. Luke chapter 11, 33 to 36. During his childhood, we would sing his favorite hymn every night, Igaya Tenema, both in Kikuyu and in English. I thank God for the wonderful journey we have been together and not forgetting the day he gave his life to our Lord Jesus Christ. May his name, may the name of the most high God be glorified till we meet again, till we meet again, amen.
Uh, thank you very much. I know it's, it's very hard. Let us, as we sit there, intercede for them. Penina? Then you'll be followed by Diangoi and then Kogo. Didi, I can't believe we're here. It's been quite the journey. As I reflect on our time together, I first remind myself that you're at peace, and more importantly, that you are and will forever live through all of us. I will try and capture some of your essence that will live on through me and all of us. So firstly, Daddy shaped who I am today immensely. I am bold and unafraid because of him. He taught us to live our truth and to live our lives unabashedly. He said, we all have a past, but we all have a future. Mistakes and problems are inevitable, so they shouldn't worry you or shake you. And although I am presently shaken, I know that everything will be okay. Daddy said he did not trust or like people who weren't forthright. You always knew exactly what he thought and felt about anything and everything. He placed great emphasis on honesty, and this is a trait I hold so dear to my heart. I always strive to communicate openly and honestly, and I've been told sometimes to honest to a fault. Daddy was the lion of a good time and he was always up for an adventure. We swam with dolphins, hiked with gorillas, and ended days with a couple of drinks, just like I would with any friend. Daddy had lots of friends and a strong community. I have seen them all here and throughout this journey that we've had with him. And I'm trying to do the same and replicate the same, and I just wanna thank all my friends who are here today for me as well. Daddy and I are doers. We express our love through acts of service. He has supported my vision and my dreams. He was a strategic thinker, as we said in the eulogy, and I never once doubted that he had my back. Our relationship really evolved over the past few years. I became a business advisor, a parent, trying to take him to his doctor's appointments, and most importantly, a friend. Daddy is the most perceptive person that I know. He had really insisted on celebrating his 60th when he was 59. He fought really, really hard not to go to hospital this last time. He knew what was to come, and he helped us prepare, as you saw in the video. We spoke candidly about what he wanted for us as a family, and we will always honor that. We will stay united and continue to support each other and grow together. Daddy, we are here to celebrate you. I love and I miss you so much. I know you're living on through all of us. Rest in peace. my tribute, I'd like to start with a quote that I felt truly encapsulated my father. Lions do not concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. Never afraid to speak his mind, sit down and explain to you why you're wrong. This is normally, normally when it came to matters of faith, as I believe many people have attested to. Dad also had an endless curiosity. I remember as a kid that other than news, all he used to watch was Discovery Channel and National Geographic. He unwittingly sparked my own thirst for knowledge. 
and I'm forever grateful. Additionally, he was one of the funniest people I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. It was rare to stay with him for more than an hour without a smile or a laugh. I will miss him for the rest of my life. I'm sure now where he is, he's still inspiring joy and laughter. Me and dad used to have a few things in common. One of them being shoes. I'm actually currently wearing his shoes. I always used to borrow his shoes. Sometimes I used to steal them. But from now on, I hope I can fill them and carry on his legacy. Love your son, Jiang Lee. Hi, hi everybody. Uh, so just like my dad, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Da dad, it's hard to put down in words what you meant to us. I'm forever grateful for what you did for us, always having food on our plate, never lacking anything, taking us to the best universities in the world and the best family vacations. I'll never forget the day you dropped me off in, in Australia. You told me, son, you live in a concrete jungle. You either eat or get eaten. Good luck and go try to leave your mark on the world. I'll miss the hustle you're always trying to instill in me, but I'll make sure I live up to your legacy and make you proud. Love your son, Congo. Thank you very much. God, Yangui, and Penina. We still thank God for the courage he has given you. Uh, Saim, for whoever is going to read for Nancy. In the meantime, Evergreen members, get lady with the hymn we have posted in the Women's Guild. Uh, Mutadao. Good afternoon, everyone. I stand here. My name is Nancy Gishongwa, and I'm going to read the tribute on behalf of my sister, Nancy Kimani. Here I am, Kimani, floods of the past two years enveloping my space, wondering just how we got here. You have fought hard. You have kept our hope high throughout this journey. As we watched your strong spirit battle with a monster let loose. And now, I know for sure that your curtain has fallen. I'm grateful to God for the memories of our life together. I look back to the distant past, meeting you at City Hall in November 1988, where I was working in the procurement department. As, I, as you walked in, I could tell life had not been kind to you. But the determination, the resolve in your eyes was loud. A clear statement that you intended to make it in life. And you did, Kimani. I gave you the first LPO of 35,000 shillings for the town clerk's office. But two hours later, you came back. Nothing could have prepared me for what you had to say. You couldn't supply because you had no money. I was confused, but I knew I had to save my job. I asked you how much you needed. You gave me the figure of 9,000 Kenya shillings and promised to deliver the goods in two hours. You kept your word. Two weeks later, your check was ready. Till today, I haven't seen the 9,000 shillings back. <laughs> I have no clear recollection on how this working relationship led to our wedding and the blessings of our three beautiful children, Penina, Congo, and Diangui. What is vivid, however, is that I was very young. You snatched me before I could say Jack Robinson. We have invested not just in each other. You were also my business partner, mentoring me through this tough environment. And when the storms of life have invaded our lives, we have stuck together, leaving us stronger. 
thank you, Kemani, for the partnership in bringing up our children. I'm grateful for the consensus on their schools all the way to the university. You never disagreed on the choices I brought to the table. Because of that, we, gave, we have given them the best education within our reach. With the help of God, our Father, I will ensure that the standards we set for them are maintained. I have admired your courage, Kemani, and learned a lot of, a lot of life lessons from you. In India, you brought together a community of Kenyans seeking treatment to various ailments. You started the practice of patients sharing extra food and resources. You were brave enough to share your journey of cancer. You researched on the disease and all the treatment options available and bravely communicated your, communicated your opinion with your doctors. Thank you for fighting. It has been fulfilling to experience your concern for people close to you. To our family friends, you were the present strong pillar. You gave not just your resources, but yourself too. I have watched you run errands for our many friends during difficult times. I'm learning to live without you. It is not easy, but I know that God will be present in our lives. May our God secure you till we meet again. From Nancy Kemani, Congo. Thank you. Thank you very much. We still thank God. I have a green members, wherever you are. You could come here and sing the hymn song we have put in the mutadao, Nitana Guoko. Please, please, the ones who are here. Have a green church members, just come. Pastor, please.
chat, even for the way you stood with Nancy during the illness and even now, may God bless you. No mare PCA to my first tray. Would I talk of our gate to Sejagia? But I have had a request here, Mako, and I want to honor it. Uh, so as you come, please two minutes only. Do I carry out of a You do a mother. ni agocho maletoma kwane de vedidi yangwi wa wa bogo de moega na de mohono ki jeso na ni tore dogo ni geneire muthenyo oyo ni undu wa gukorwo guku jeso ni moega ni honoke tiki ya ihinda riri thank you mutugateri na tugateri ari age mare guku Witu ne nyere itorare ni nireta guo mudo waine. Na to guo kwa zo muamade koha hane muiretu wa kwa. Kumare rea maanyi itanire na muedu wa waka kema ni. Na make gora mochie witu nyere. Na tokegea kereko na idha wape nina. Na tokia viriri ya kuhari ya uthoni. Na toleo deru wajari ya nadage kanini muno. Nini deruga norunene muno wa mwana kioyo mudhoni wakwa. Kumari ya igerile mwishie wakwa. Na tokegia dogo unene muno muno muno. Na egetika gotuweka uthoni, egetuweka mwana na ithe. Tuturane tiyo guo na idha wadu uta. Atodo maitamarea na oka wakua mochie mano oka na profesa karaja murata wakua muno. Tuturi tiyo guo tule dogue yo nene ya muana na idha. Dika ni muwe udhoni wakura. Dutuwe kago udhoni yo tuwe kago chiyaruo na gochiyarana. Ugu wani guwa tutura netie na idha wadu uta. Nidilika naga wega lili ya meka go hiki. Gihea na muiretu oyu ni dari lile muno. Todudoni le muiretu wakwa umwe wale anyede te muno. Ni adiga. Na dagucho kagwetu umu wana wakwa ni dari lile. Nuda choka gui kai kara, mtu miyoshi owe tangu aduta ni direka na gaka gakuwa muno 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 ukira gezimi. Uroshi owe choko kige ni muno kuona muana wa kuakulia hikire, atuika wa mochi, ne duani ya siaria sio, idawa kemani na ni na kemani. Moni liari udu mune ne muno. Diyo kani udu wale mudha kana kemani ya lejongi. Todu liari udu kemani ya nokagu ituwe na guoni oshowe wa muiretu uyu atiriri. Uo kire kuwa ya muiretu itu ule mochongi o. Waju kuwete kilide kuhikira muana kio yu mochongi o ni udu wageto mikireku. Tutia kio ya gohoroshi onorito aduaito. Nune tuwa ya gate izuwe tuwe na kedo. Kia vata na kia goro. Kanitha ishio eruo igiri. O kete gote izia. Nini eda akora guode muetete. Kwa leto odeche ya mani waka nitha wa independent. Meaka meige muno. Nane tuwa kete kanitha wa goro muno. Na muana kio ya uwetu oke mani mudho wa ini. Agi uka kode hivya, le muegio uka gueta za itoti, atueke mugeni, na dadhi wavichi guwake. Aje lili oledo za itoti, agi ukirake jirani tozie. 
nie dia kyo ine moya ine na thaitoti muno oguo tugithie kwa vice president thaitoti thigari ne ira tugiria agitie koguo na moko giruo hetoka twathie twaikora thaitoti na twaikarani athiri ugutiri undu utahingire uri adendaga na vice president ni okire kanithaini na tukiruta wira mwega tukihota kugania chiringi milioni imwe kuguo ni turutite wira wa fata na wa goro na mwana kyoyo wakwa ugwetoitha wa duta lastly muicho dramu etire kanitha ucio wetu otetu <coughs> nika kanitha kanini muno kadu ta 10 kana 15 nuni okire na wedo utagimenye koryo hana tudu okire mari na mutumi oyo wake madeheire giri magana mugwaja ma mirongo etano uri ungi munene na ni daikarathi tondu no jarie rugano rwake matha meri na dichokere ni dimwaria andu aitu ni gutura na wira wa kanitha miaka mingi muthenyo uria nyina wa ciana ciakwa akuire muthenyo ucio ni na dukariganira uturoine wakwa becha ciake okire kuruta muthenyo uria turaroka guthie mathiko ni ni thauma nyere dagirwo ni wadere Duka wa dere ya liguku, mwene wa da joe. Agira na tuwa diya hali ya maru tagira abia. Ize wadu utaru uga maau hile nearu tabecha siyake nara atake. A profesa haya, milio nye mwe na giri mirogo etano. Mwada ni ya rogo shu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Duda association mauma na tribute no nyudo wa mata na tutigoke dikanire tuikoria theine ndigothomwo no nikonegero family please now dreda weta honorable nyokabi mukami okay okay lewu okay as you come we know the times we are in we know the start of the PCA church. Please just ask your colleagues to wave, no speeches. Thank you. To Nancy and your lovely family, to your dad, to your close relatives, friends, partners, business partners, and everyone who is gathered here, to our spiritual leaders, Neto Gwadeka, Tokuru Tawero Oriogotore Heta Goko Mode, Natoti Kwaria speeches, Ishio Uroiga, Shiage Siasa. You will allow me, on behalf of the leaders who are in this congregation, to celebrate a great man. And I'm talking about a man of great enterprise, a man of faith, and a well-humored man. A man of great enterprise because the Honorable Kimani Congo rose from a very humble village, right where we are, in Motoine, and rose to be a household name, not only in Dagureti, not only in Nairobi, but actually nationally recognized leader for his enterprise, both in business, in politics, and in his social life. I said he's a man of faith because not only has he built very many churches in cahoots with his great business partners who are here with us, but he was also a man of great faith in humanity. The story of Kemani Congo is a story of a man who never wanted to leave anyone behind. He believed in humanity in the sense that he knew everything that he had, he could only invest it in people. And I want to stand here and say that the Honorable Kemani Congo has invested in very, very many people. Finally, I said he's a well-humored man. 
An author by the name of Oscar Wilde once wrote and said that if you want to tell people the truth, make them laugh, otherwise they will kill you. And that is the philosophy of the life of the Honorable Kimani Congo. He had very many truths to tell the world, but he told them in a very humorous way. So I said that I will stand here and celebrate a man of great enterprise, a man of faith, and a very well-humored man. His legacy stands tall, and it shall live on in the lives of Penina, of Diangoi, of Congo, and all those other people whose life he impacted, including my life, which he personally impacted in a very big way. Truly, for David, when he had served God's purpose in his generation, he rested and he was laid to rest next to his fathers. I want to recognize that we've got... Um, We've got many leaders here with us, and I shall ask them to stand up as I call them up and recognize them in a special way, as the church has said, that they shall stand and wave. In our midst, we have the president of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce, His Excellency Richard Ngatia. Please, let's appreciate him with a round of applause. And while you're still on your feet, Mweshimi Wangatia, kindly stand up. I want to recognize very good friends of the Honorable Kemani Congo, who you know are in your great team of friends and business partners. So chairman and all the friends, kindly stand up so that we recognize you. All the friends who, I know you know yourselves. These are not friends. These are actually brothers of the Honorable Kimani Congo. Let's, let's appreciate them with a great round of applause. They have shown great love and great camaraderie with uh, Honorable Kimani Congo throughout his life when he was in his best and even at his worst. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for the leadership. The, I will give an opportunity so, uh, soon, uh, Honorable Habib Congo, uh, just a minute, kindly. While I go on uh, in recognizing the leaders who are here, I want to uh, appreciate a great team um, and friends of the Honorable Kimani Congo, the Lions of Good Times, if you're here. Kindly stand up wherever you are. Lions of Good Times, we want to appreciate you. This is another family. Appreciate them with a round of applause. Those are the Lions of Good Times. As they sit, I want to remain standing the Honorable MCA Peter Wahinya, Member of County Assembly from Gando Ward, Congo, and Moheshimiwa, you hear what the church is saying to us, so we will only recognize you. Uh, let's give a big and a fitting round of applause to the Honorable Peter Wahinya. Finally, I want to recognize um, Mom's County MP uh, and Dad's County MP in our midst We've got the county MP from Nyeri, the Honorable uh, Mokami, Rahab Mokami. She is here in our midst, and I do pray that the Honorable Mokami, you will uh, appreciate what the church is saying, and I shall, uh, and, and I shall enjoy it. Mom, and to your children, we are pretty, has given so much, and so much life to so many people, and that shall be the legacy of the great Honorable Kemani Congo. Church, with your permission, I know there is a special message uh, that the Honorable Habib Congo would like to give. Kindly, Mweshimiwa, I will be standing here. I will not live here. You will only say hi, and uh, I will be your watchman. Mweshimiwa, uh, Kimani, Habib, Omar Habib Congo, kindly, I will be standing here. <clears throat> My friend, Kemani Congo, Nancy, the children, the church and the congregation, Hamjambo. God is good. God is good. Can we wave, please? God is good. Thank you very much. 
I've been given very little time, and I'm glad that the church has given me such a little time to say something. A lot has been said about Kimani Congo, how good he was, and everything else. But there is something I've vowed before Congo and when the congregation is around here that I must mention. We have said very, very good things because Kimani Congo. But we want to remove some perception for outside there, which I want this congregation, and of course, Mweshmiwa and the rest of the people, that they can talk about it outside there. One day, one single day I can remember, we went to a place here in Nairobi, where Kimani Congo owned the house. That house was his. He had bought from the county council, and really, he had paid everything. So we had gone to occupy the, for him to occupy the house. In the evening, they, when we, there was a trouble, a little trouble, kidogo kidogo hapa na pale, na tukaenda polisi. Kuhakikisha kwamba hii nyumba ilikuwa ni ya Kongo, na tukaandikisha statement ya tukaondo, na tukaondoka. Tulipo ondoka, there was a scenario in the evening, the following day, whereby we saw on TV that somebody had already died. Unfortunately, I was because we share the same name, Kimani Congo, I came and I was arrested. That means somebody had already died. I want to say Kimani was, was went for three years because during that time, murder did not have a, a bail. He went for three years for something that he never did. Congo was a straightforward person. He never did that one, and that's why he was exonerated. I was the witness for Kimani Congo because that evening, I was with Kimani Congo. The second one, when I was mayor chairman for Nairobi, Congo was accused of supplying chalks. Never, it never happened, I was there in the seat, and Kemani never supplied anything called chalk. The, husband, the wife is my witness, and everybody. How these rumors came around and anything else, I can't understand. Kemani never was a straight businessman, he never supplied chalk. Are you getting me properly? That is exactly funny. Finally, Kimani loved his family. And the Penina, let me make a little joke. That one can never go. One day, he loved, this guy loves his family to death, especially the first, the girl. One time, they went for recess from school. Kama kawaida, watu, watu wamekua kidogo, wanakuenda, wanakuenda wakitoka, hakuenda home. Demo wakufika nyumbani. Kimani, yaka nitafuta. Manaka, anajua mindi, anajua masikani za kilabu, ziko wapi. Aniambia, hey, unajua? He, mshichana wangu hajafika nyumbani mpaka sasa. Mimi na mimi ninazungushwa, nikazungushwa everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Finally, we located where our girl was, but by the time she had already seen me and went home. We met, we met uh, Penina at home. God bless you and God, God we love you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much honorable Habib Omar Habib Congo. Um, I have been given the honor and pleasure to invite just one more gentleman to say a single word and because I will not be coming back here um jetekeria Nemoe ye koyo tene gotiadika na guo tene ne kuare na motugo we taguo kuma garania na ne kio mo igu agago kero ate modo ne imagario metugo ne adirege shejia na gogetueka ate adone mare dika guo na ne kio morona oria tradi ato ke kinyo kagia metugo ne shejeti e ne morona mo esimiwa kimani kongo na ke alatu ire ituaria ke na metugo ya kereu aroiga onake matigari make mekuo oguo mona mekuo na megugithiaga ugithiaga oguo thaini wotoro ate uria maisha maracenjia maudu magathie magicenjagia nedarekia nie na andu amucie he mugeni ukugeithanetie muno na ningutuma ngeithi ciake amukira ingeithi cia murata wa mweshimiwa Kemani Kongo the honorable deputy president of the republic of kenya mweshimiwa william samoi arap ruto ni egutumanete ngeithi ciake umuthi jetekeria ijoe opportunity no demuite 
the one and only, the president of the Kenyan National Chamber of Commerce, the one and only, His Excellency, Richard Ngatia, Naderuo, we murata mwega muno wa family ni gutea matha na ni nguruga mahahadiri omuthigari waku jete niguo eh ndikirore matha mauo uria kanitha yoiga karibu sir ah asanti sana mheshimiwa familia na wahubiri ambaye wako hapa na viongozi na marafiki ambayo wamekusanya hapa leo uja kumwaga ah, ndugu yetu Kimani tafadhali mniruhusu nisiangatie zote kwa sababu ya muda lakini niseme kitu moja tu tafadhali katika Biblia tunaambiwa wa Korintho wa kwanza mstari wa 15 26 wasema adui ambaye ataangamizwa ya mwisho kabisa ni kifo The first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 26 says the last enemy on earth to be ruthlessly destroyed shall be death and we shall one day rise and celebrate that that enemy the enemy who separates us the enemy who separates families the enemy who leaves us hopeless shall be destroyed the late kemani who has lived as a great friend of mine a man with social capital a man who loved to help a man who loved to support the needy and everybody who looked for direction. And I believe many of us gathered here today may have been going to church, whether it's every day or every Sunday. But I can tell you for a fact, Kimani may not have gone to church the times you have, but his deeds are his legacy. His deeds of loving people, his deeds of supporting people, his deed of lending his shoulder to those who are vulnerable, that will be his legacy. And I can say for me, as Richard Ngatia, he's a man who has shown me direction, a man who has supported me, a man who has stepped foot when I needed support from a friend. In fact, it is said, to gauge success of one is not by the successful things that they have done, but the number of times that they have fallen and risen and woken up to support the others, to lend the hand of others. And therefore, I want to say, Bishop, that you are here today, uh, clergy and church, that the man who has left us, yes, he has left. Family, I know it is very heavy on you. But at one time, just sit back, call out his name. And I can tell you for a fact, he's going to answer you. Through the angels, he's going to answer you. Through his spirit, he's going to answer you. And he's going to work with you. And therefore, I want to say that we hear one more thing before I conclude. One thing he said in the year 2017 is that Ngatia, you have leadership qualities and we want you to stand as the chamber president. And he became crazy about it. And he started campaigning about it. And he talked about so many times to a point that he spent his resources to a leadership I had not seen, to a leadership I didn't believe in until the point I was sworn in. Only one time he came to my office and said, this, is not your position. Your position is waiting for you. I am here to fulfill his dream. Richard. Thank you very much. And um, uh, as per instructed by the church, uh, the citizens of uh, Motoine, citizens of Dagureti, citizens of Nairobi, I want you to recognize the presence 
of Her Excellency, the Governor of the Great City County of Nairobi, Her Excellency, Anne Kanano, is in the house. Please stand up right just where you are and wave, and I know the church shall take on uh, over from there. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity, uh, clergy. Truly, for God, for David. There is a great man who has served in this city um, as a as a councillor. He was the councillor of High Ridge Ward and is currently the deputy governor of Moranga County, former member of Can uh, Parliament, Kandara. Uh, he's right here with us. Let's appreciate him. That is Maina Kamau. He's here with us. Thank you very much, Meheshimiwa, for coming to condole with us. We do appreciate you. Um, yes, you shall get an opportunity. The church has, has uh, instructed that they will give an opportunity at the right time. As I said, and as the family said, for David, after he had served God's purpose in his generation, he rested and he was laid with his fathers. We do condole with the family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being obedient. Though so time is far gone. We are, in the, we are in the hearts of our moderator. We will make decisions as we go on, but in the meantime, time to hear the Bible readings from the first one from Kogo and then Piato and thereafter Gachala you'll give we shall sing it as well and our moderator will take his place thank you Numbers chapter 21, verse 4 to 9. They traveled from Mount Horn along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom. But the people, the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses. And they said, why haven't you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There's no bread, there's no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the, then the, Lord, said, sent, then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people, and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We sinned, and when we spoke against the Lord and against you, pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord Moses said, Make a snake and put, make a snake and put it on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it on a, on, on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by the snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. Yeah, thank you. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. I read uh, the second reading comes from the book book of Matthew, chapter fourteen, verse twenty two to thirty three, and it says, "And straight away Jesus constrained his disciples disciples to get into a ship, and to go before him and to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up up to." into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening, was, when, when the evening came, he was there alone. Verse 24. But the ship was now in the midst of a sea, tossed with, with waves, for the wind was contrary. And, and in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking, unto, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out of fear. But straight away Jesus spake, spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the, on the water. And he said, Come. And 
And when Peter, was come, when Peter came down out of the ship, he walked, he walked onto the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, Oh, though of little faith, wherefore did this thou doubt? And when, they, and when they came into the ship, the wind ceased. 33. Then they, then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of, of a truth thou art the son of God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us all be upstarting. It is well in my Lord. The hymn is on page 12. So let us all go there and, and, and sing the hymn. It is well with my soul.
We thank you, God, because even when things are so tough to us, we have a shoulder to cry on. You have reminded us that it is well. Even when things are the way they are, oh God, you are still in your seat, thinking well about us. Be with us and talk to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God, church. God is good. And all the time. And even now, God is good. Uh, we bring our condolences to the family of our dear brother, to Nancy and the children. May you receive the condolences from Evergreen Parish. And also condolences from the Christian fraternity that we have all come, the clergy, the elders, and all of us. And also, I want also to welcome the visitors, KJ and your team, also the governor, Karibu Sana, and all of us who have come because we know Kemani in one way or the other. If there is a minister whom I met in Evergreen called Leverett Kamande. I'm not very old in Evergreen, He's older, he knew him. I will not talk about Kemani, I only talk about us as the members, and I would like you to say hi. Just hi, and then we continue. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you see? God is good and all the time. Yes, and that is his nature. Wow. Actually, as the minister says, I've been, I've, I've been with uh, Kimani for the last six years at uh, PC Evergreen before I relocated to uh, Karen Parish. And uh, actually, what has been said is true. We've prayed together, he has supported the church, we've worked together, and I just came to pass my condolences because he was a friend, he was more than a friend. And uh, actually, one of the things I, ad I admire, it's good to say that in Jumbaji, mm. mm. that Kemani, you know, Vira Trikua Tuna Muingiria. And he even allowed us to even go to his house. And not many people would have opened his house to go and uh, criticize him. But he allows us, at our Chugaji, we talk together. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy, I was very happy when I was told that he made that decision. Mm -hmm. to follow Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. God bless you and be with you and continue giving you strength. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate Mchugaji. I'm Reverend Nehemiah, uh, the current uh, moderator of that parish. And before I went there, I used to serve here with KJ. It's a good friend of mine and also still a friend. I want us briefly to talk about uh, fixing our eyes on Jesus because there are so many challenges that are on the way. We have, there are many challenges that are coming to us as a church in the country, even in families, there are many, many challenges. And the, the book of Hebrews 12, verse 2, it usually tells us that we, we should fix our eyes on Jesus because he is the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated in the right hand side of God the Father. Amidst the crisis, amidst the challenges that we are going through, challenges can be positive or negative. It's good to know that there is God who art in heaven. Even the one who said there is no God, when he got into problems, he said, oh my God, and he said, Kube, you know there is God. There is God in heaven who cares, whom we trust, and whom we profess. And we are not saying that when you fix your eyes on Jesus, 
you will not get into challenges. Challenges will come and challenges will go. But when we fix our eyes on Jesus, Jesus becomes our focus. We shall experience the challenges of the world, but the challenges of the world will not overcome us. We shall have whatever God will give us, but we shall know there is another being who is superior than us. When we fix our eyes on Christ, we understand that he is the provider of all th things. And even if we have, there is a time we shall exit from this world. It's good to realize. And also, as we are in this world, we are able to enjoy and enjoy in the Lord. Praise be to God. We are able to be happy, but be happy in God. Because happiness is brought about by happenings. But the joy of God comes even if we are weeping, even if we are going through challenges, we experience that joy of the Lord. We read in the first reading, when children of Israel were passing through the wilderness, they encountered so many challenges, and they started complaining. They complained, and now God was annoyed, and he sent snakes to come and bite them. And we are told that whoever was bitten died. And they cried unto Moses and said, we have sinned. And that is why God is punishing us. But God told them, I have an answer. And a snake, a bronze snake was made and put on a pole, such that whoever looked at the pole got healed. Praise be to God. There is an answer to what you are going through. There is an answer. But there is your work. Looking is your work. Praise be to God. Kama vile tu tunasema there is COVID, which is a snake. But we have an answer. The answer is vaccine, isn't it? Yes. Don't say you are not vaccinated at Utangojea too. No. There is an answer. Whatever you are going through, there is an answer. But you, there is your part to fulfill. So the children of Israel were told, yes, snakes will remain. That is why I said even COVID may not go, be going anywhere. It may remain with us, but we have an answer. Sin is still with us, but there is an answer. Jesus died for the sin. There is an answer to whatever challenge you are going through. No matter where you are, and the people had to look, had to fix their eyes on the road where the serpent was. The same case when Jesus was crossing over the sea, and we see him here walking on water. And Peter said, if it is you, Lord, tell me to come. And Jesus said, come. Other people were saying it's ghosts. That's the, the difference, the way we see things. Some may see ghosts, others may see Christ. And, and he said, it's Christ. And he said, can I come? He said, do what? Come. Praise be to God. And just like a child, he had a lot of fun walking on water. Because he was fixing his eyes on Jesus. He was able to walk on water. There is nothing too big that you cannot do whenever you fix your eyes on God. Even if you are given only two years to be in this world, you make a difference. It is not the number of years that make us make a difference in this world. Like we had to say, I want a hundred years. You may have a hundred years and do a lot of nothing. Like Medusera with 960, what? <laughs> it was the person who lived longest, and only one line was written. He lived long, but he did a lot of nothing. He married when he was 400 years. <laughs> so it is long life, it's not just many years, but you can live that three years like Jesus and do a lot and change, bring a change. And that is what we are looking for, KJ. We are not looking at how long, 
but the impact that we are putting in the community, in the church. Whenever you fix your eyes on Jesus, you can do a lot. And I will tell my sister, fix your eyes on Jesus. People will come with so many theories, so many stories of how things are done. But it's only God who can give you the best advice on how to live in this world. And when Peter was told to come, he came. And we see him walking in water. And then he started looking at people. Eh? This is the time that you start sinking. Many of our good brothers and sisters have sunk because of the world. They want to make the world happy. They want to make people happy. But not making God happy. Whenever we fix on our eyes on Jesus, our priority, number one, is God. Even in your situation, I'm saying let us go to politics. But even if we are going to politics, let's go with Jesus. Let's fix our eyes on Jesus. Because it's only him who will make you the kind of a person you want. Not the party, not the whatever, but it's only God. And you can even serve for only one term or two terms or many terms, but it's only God who can help you to fulfill the purpose why you are erected. It's only God who can help me. It's only God who can help you wherever you are to fulfill that purpose. Don't neglect God because of power. Don't neglect God because of this or the other. We usually tell the people to leave politics to politicians. We are all politicians. I am a politician. If I say there is no food, that is politics. That is politics, isn't it? And we are there to make the life better for our people. That's so we should talk. We should say things are not good. But fixing our eyes on Jesus. Whenever we fix our eyes on Jesus, we spend more time connecting with him. We understand that God has got good plans for us. They are not plans for evil. They are plans for success. Praise be to God. No matter what we are doing, let us have a time of Jesus. Even when you are building a house, have an altar whereby you can connect with the one who has the destiny of your life. Praise be to God. Let's connect with God. We are told that whenever you, make, you, uh, you, 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 put, you fix your eyes on Jesus, you have a personal walk with him, a personal relationship, whereby you'll be asking him questions, guidance, as you make any move, whether political, whether religious, as you make any move, ask God. But when you look down, you are going to sink. We have seen many people sinking, but my prayer is that we shall not sink. This family will not sink. Your family will not sink. No matter what has happened, that family will not sink because there is God in heaven. Let's fix our eyes on him and we shall succeed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, moderator. Let us fix our eyes on the Lord time to pray for the family. I will request the family to come closer.
Nancy, na Duta, na Kogo, na Diamui, ni tuwira gati. Kaita muirete, mu magiririe, na mu kora gumu na hi na mu ageguaya. Ni todo ni niegai wanyu na ni gumu togoria na ni gugu kira hi na. Gai ya muhe hi na tu kihoya, kaka itu hoi. Awa dini wari tu wari Jesus Kristo ni tu kabere ya kumada ni maya mamiara ho. Tu kego shokeri ya gado na tu kirehe family ni wake mani moko ni maku gai. Ni watu wari na kigo ya kuwa tu wera Nancy na family ya ke na itu wote tu magoko. Ati tu wari ma ido ma ido na iko ro kuri ato ido ido giuma. Tu ato ido ido du maga na goko de ato ido ido ato ido ido maga na kobi goro. Ni mau tu masho tu wera Nancy na Duta na Kogo na Diangoi. Na muare wanyi na na kemani, muada ni muega wa matuine netuare he family no moko ine maaku. Nige da mahote gaibito gokorora todwe niwe alpha na niwe omega, we niwe kia bereria na niwe kire kirero. Muada ni muega we niwe wa bire kogo, we niwe wa bire muduri ogo to kemani na no we gaibito washoka kumogera. Ito turia dua de toke kiugati ya, no to mu magari ya toke ati. It is well with our soul. And now, my Father and my God, to your hands we commit this family. To your hands, Lord, we commit Nancy, who will act as a father and mother of this home. But my Father and my God, you have told us in your word that you are the husband to the widows and you are the father to these children. So my Father, take your place. Take your place, Lord. Take over from where Kimani has left. My Father and my God, if they never ever needed thee, it is now. If they ever needed thee, it is today. Father, strengthen them. Your word has told them, Lord, that they should be courageous and not to fear anything. The evil one only comes to bring fear. That my Father, you continue to stay with them. Lord, help them they are going on their way out. Come in, Lord. May you come in with them. Nansen da kano imakare ka imoko materi aino kere shi anesha tari namogate. Ate ka ibitu nansen da kana ino ke aoyge ke manikoro weho. Reke arore maido maku kore maido maku kore we gai to do wana roria maido maku maku kore we nioko muika wega na rumwa dani muga wa matuine to ko matika moko ni maku mau mega na mahita naga mau mahora geria na mau moega mudo keda ya ya ki moe gai nige to mahita haria do itagi mona na ruga o kohori wa gai itagi menye kanori otari oroi karia goroshi anu nansi na aduta na kemani na na kogo. Na diangui, nige da muture mo de tegai ona mo mugo shaga. Na kia kiro di mo kia gai de mo ne hinya wode, gai morio na gai roho mo deru. Kero i korani hamu e nai nyue reu ona ginya tene na tene. Kai to de tuge? Oya i de nyare aku muture rei ne wakwa. Family, God will give you his grace that is sufficient for this season, his peace that surpasses all other studying. Time for whoever is going to pass our vote of dance. Nitaka tusema hivi yule ambaye atakuwa akifanya vote of thanks aje asimame na mimi. In the meantime, nigetaka Todd Modo no aite akionoria. Ni twasheroni governor wito. And it's only right for her to just say hi to them although she came a bit late but we we really appreciate your being here. She's part of family by the way of the larger uh, David Kimani Congo family. Please uh, 
approach here and uh, yeah, thank you. God is good and all the time. Uh, let me apologize for coming in late. So I'm clergy, naomba tu dakika moja peke yake. And on behalf of uh, Mwenda's family, tunasema pole mama nduta. And uh, I'm part of the family. My elder sister is married by mama nduta's brother. I don't know if she's around, mama Shalin. Maybe, yeah, that's my elder sister. Thank you for coming. Niseme neno moja tu peke yake. Because I feel sad. I'm here as a governor, but I'm here as a sister to Mama Duta and Kemani. Kemani, me to see what is happening today. I'm sad, but I believe God had a purpose for this. Mama Duta ni kwambia kitu moja. Are we prepared? Let us prepare ourselves the way Kemani prepared himself. And Kemani was a good connect connector to each one of us. Kila mutu. Nataka ni washukuru wale wote wamekuja leo. Chamber President Bonangatia, thank you for coming and everybody else. Sita nena mengi leo, lakini tuko pamoja na familia, but Mama Duta, remember, God will always make a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Tawi tuakura adime, Governor. Uh, Liu, I would like to say something about the procedure after vote of thanks so that you understand how we are going to do the rest of the interment. There is a tree to be planted here. The main one where the remains of Kemani will be uh, involved will be planted by the family, by Mrs. Kemani and the children. Uh, there will be support people around them, and that is important. But there are other trees. The next tree, just next to it, will be planted by the clergy, supported by the evergreen community. Because Kimani has died in the Lord. And we want, when we look at that tree, to be able to recognize that indeed you went together. He went together with the church. And we are particularly thankful to the guild of the PCA Evergreen. And therefore, the tree next from that church tree, the one that uh, our moderator will help, uh, will be planted by the guild of PCA. Niodo awero ole amuru teide nanse, leu now, uh, uh, um, uh, this, this time and throughout the illness of, of her, uh, her, uh, her husband. The next one will be planted by Kimani's friends. These are many, but they can be led by none other than the chamber president, Richard Gatia, and the, all the friends, Paul Dungu, all these people that are here, in, please join in planting that tree so that we can remember he was surrounded by good friends, and he has helped many good friends. The next uh, tree will be planted uh, moderator. Let me tell you, this man, despite what you have heard about him, he always said he's a member of the PCEA Mimosa district throughout. His, and therefore, the district will plant a tree. Particularly the men of the district, led by our deacon, he is here, uh, you will do that. The, the next tree will be planted by the Kimani family, led by Waboi, na Shianaidia Igishio de, Shia Sister Yake, na Dwashio Geo de, Negeda, to Lidikanaga family, Ya Johanna. Now, one wish you, oh, hard on the governor, 
na ike kumanete dudogu. So God bless you all very much. The planting will be done in good order. Uh, so uh, uh, stay away because we can't all have to try kia teli neko hada tora hada mete na neguo to guika. Now, vote of thanks. Mudureka vote of thanks here, huh? Na nego muhata hida negeda here. Ne vote of thanks negeda to show ke program we need. <clears throat> God is good and all the time that is my name is Stanley Bilegichia I I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior I am a brother to uh, Kimani Congo and I am the one that was chosen by the um, committee to give thanks on behalf of them. Please allow me to mix the uh, languages from Kiswahili, Kizungu, Nakikuyu, Tono Narikiongiyo e Mono. In Gwadiadai Girahaha, Governor Bereakoa, Wede te komu era kota ge ge dia to di da ge dia ne gavana. Ro ru to ru ne ge kali re de ha re a. Ne ngo mo ge dia ka do di gua te o ge keno ge akwa ne ge ka te a. Ne ge akinya ne ra e gavana we e ha ha. I gui gua go ge babo anyway. Um, the key to abe tu shokeli e gaiwi to gado ne to ru ole a atweke te mau do madene. Kumahingwa ya life yao ero ya kimani ili ya atuli te mudo mwega na nigeri yao the yaga no ginyaroga no ine glory be to God. Ewege ni kanida kanida wa Evergreen na kanida wa PCA karinde na kanida shio the kuajumla kanida shio the ili participate te. Woka kuri ya wake mani kuri ya runda na woku mushi na kuri ya kuge wada kura tonga na woku kuri ya Saint Andrews. We are so grateful. We really thank you a lot. Nito doa wakorwa mutoni teri riogwa. Leo moja leta kuri yama uto uto uroga mete na idwe kuma kuri ya runda. Leo ni gioga turumire na 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 duriakuwa kanida. Wow, we we really don't take it for granted. Tu amenya umu dini mude nyawa weira na we ni wone kanire na duaku. God bless you mightly. Now, um, nikole arata akemani na no arata aji na wa wa duta. Jitekeria hii tondo kuwa liyama kumaki maniyaru wara ni mwoi gotire odo ono mwe olewe kwa te watuwe kanegwe kwa harabe. Na beshe hili ya kimani alete ne beshe anyingi mwono. Na kuma atuwe kene ya diye hii ndia. Nogwe tatu ara kukohora di mwotu na kegea odo wako hotago diye hii ndia na hinya. Isn't that wonderful? That is great. Mudo wo the wa participate tire na ge ka udo wo the oge to oge ho the other bari ake mani me na mutumi awake. We thank you for that. Mahole re irohe please. Give them a clap. Nekole how family ne ake mani re ne ko kire na si ana isi moro na ha ha. Marute tewera as a team. Ya go die go koro makiona baba wa o dibitale na uri wo the baba wa wale da one ko dibitodo ni aruta go na wira ari o ko dibitale ni ode no mukwe wira aruta go na dimo these days wo the modogwe to duta kemani ah igwa te kemani ene sanem sam sanem kogo na diangui ona diangui ya ki soka go kija age kinya na kigia na chance ya go dia ka dibitale Daily, nigeza akave na onene ya participate fully. 
children, we thank you a lot. We really thank you a lot. Ni mudu tete wera mwega, moka nyitirira mamuanyu, ginya moka muhudiri ya wera, nigeza ahote korora mudhuri wake wega. Now, groups. Kwe narunda ladies, we salute you. Budi yingi kwetaka emwe kwe emwe. Kwe narunda nyumba kumi, group. Ikani uguo. We salute you. Kwena Laja Runda Ladies Group. Kwena Maratisa Group. Nao hatire Marakumi. Haya, Maratisa Group. Neekuo guo. Kwena, uh, now, netuwa karu uwe committee. Tutokoreti yone our able uh, chairman, prof. Debuetaka prof. Karaja, oyo uma haha. Na adia agi mudogo itu awa secretary eha na treasurer ya thank you sec treasurer ni wolea na nowe udo dekete nyamu isi mura mure role raha ha isi siya program na maundo mangi maige ekete toke kage ke 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 komiti toka shoki ya gado muno 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 chairman Niwira mwega murutete. Now, the ine wa committee ine, tuena mwondo ta kenodhia. Uwe, kenodhia maona diwe ya koma ga anogete ya tea. Taroranginyo na mwondo uwe tuwa jo. Ishongwa. Gishongwa. Dorashi, dirago uwe tuwa nini nore ili. Di gehota kumu weta inyuo. Inyuo. Unyi kwa liye mwane mwe wero le amuru te ire ke mani. Na wana koro de mo Amerika igea mwara. You are damn good. Surely you are all damn good. Now. Na ginya waiga anjo. Akada nyi nyi. Ya nyi tanire na achi wangene. Taru woko. Tura, anyway, kaya digere hau. Haya, dagureti people. Goko ugo moro na goi kaire. Neandu wale ama ago ko dagureti, ago ko kwa 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 kemani na family. Tokete, toka ya kama udo mode. Degeta igogo na lele. Dega kinyaneria. Na li kinyanerewega. Hwa hore rai dagureti roherewega. Eni. Na naoto ragi shokia gado. Eee. Ni hondo wa reudieje, taru guwa deke iro nanga deke iro, ate joke liyo gado. So I need a part of the back. Yeah. Haya. Ndena mudogo etu waka kio, our cousin, kwena Matthew, na brother siya kena angina beredi, nephew si siya kemani. Hey, you are good. Haya. Ndeune dadi ekwede diangoiz. Adoni aito. Do you need to dread a go climax to go see a kumo there? At the Ohoroama Odoni we to now, eh? Do Korago Han Odoni, we are friends. Ma, in Yuna Dionaga, Yani, we love to mwede temuno the Dian Mois, to Hani de Rutale Adoanino, and you know, Mode Ogo Ego Horoake Mani, no Tikito Kiraga, Tony Joy on a hang you, my time, Nyonga Kugire, my Gaginata Hingora Tuagi, okay, Tiodoni. Eh, ni orang yang hingga tua kiri atau ni. Dalam medali tua deka, gembur gero, dau. Ayah, kita mesti amuk kita dari yang ngois. Nairobi Hospital, eh, nayo, wira leru ti tena nasi re, amuk kugi, mui gui re, oka, mama kehoya nak ke mani, eh, leu dua yang mandu mau nak tak hotel di nasi honoku. Wae, usiono wera maruta ka. Eti dero nasi usiono akorogo kuishi around here, the nurse of Nairobi Hospital. Okay, please convey our gratitude. Nage kenogi ito, neto duero ya maruta ireke mani, tuwa diaga kuu, tuwe na tamuduri yoke tuwa direto keheo cha iwo na getale mo kawa tole. Deu toka ge kenani nasi sisiyo. God bless you, Mike Lee. 
leave funeral home. Ni morona wero lea, taru ulea thaidi ya toko merete roshini, kwa liyama, mwauma redi, na matu etere rawega, na toi watuake na, leave funeral home, ona omero ni thegi umono. Kariyoko, eh, nedeke liyo letu alere, nejwe gibo ngono ndiraho takuli dhoba. Kariyoko, krema, oh, enadai kwa KJ ya KJ kati, oyo, eke letu alewu, Onaole, makeruo, ole ya kwalia matokene, tokene te tu makuu, tuwa ikara kuu, no kedo kerea mangeruo meke. Ni madho odeke kakantini hado, wado ito hado hau ni toho teiro mono, no hati kiriwa, toti kodhi ete kore yae, no liri. Koro haki oma kamokawa gide toti ikejwira kachai, ni meruo, ni ketha madho odeke next time, next time. Aya, eh, mundo kwe tuwa, eh, Now, adwalea all the malutete wera. Tawada jo yeno. Ona korole ito alere wanda e korogo eo WO. Eno ne wanda. Makekandia. Noyo ya one WOE. Meru one thank you. Adwalea moki te makuwa ka species one after the other. Ni makimea mbadera ale haha. Na ni draw nire wera mune ne rutago ne adwalea. In fact, no way sire ne permanent kerea. Um... Residential area ko kana uguo na hiko so karuzi yoya bora ya bora ni ugiti tewe domo nene netoa kena muno adwasi ona kafteri ya area area togo ikoro du neda neda menyo ne kuwa menyo ne kuleke doke grio kogo adwasi ona omero ne dagiyo ona ne guidi dagiyo gona dake gua keo do gebi na hau gude tego katu na dake risoko haya. Niko le kia dera le kia ma. Le kia ima desi le kia ule adwa ya mekwe kagate. Now. Alea. Kulea mararu takawira musie kwa. Kwa kemani. Kwe mudhuliwe hawe takuo. Le tadi le kania. Mo. Mo teti. Mo teti no ti mo teti ya. Ti ya ke alie. Mo seti. Oke, mudhuri osio, na osio aletu, unge uletu, nekaru ogali. Na ole ya wanginya wangeti, aduwa siyo na muona muage, dietu wanyu wa machai, natuwari ya ilio, no makura kwa makiruta wero oleku. Ni ingetika hau, edu alide ya kemani. Gide matirute te wera mune neni. Oyo no wangirake hoti re e wiki. Gide tiko makuro makiruta working as a team, we salute you aduwa wera kugwa kemani, nga hivi ituwa muradhi memono. Ah, yana nihe kwa nde kito ni nite kukionete anga. Haze. Now. Maundu maria mode me kito. Ni kulina tuguka. Ona kuma nino alagi itaguguka. Ni kulina andu aguku mutu indi. Mutu indi na laja dagureti yode. Mukite mukai kama undu manene musioyo. Uko kaka wakori ya wirole ora luto di uleko. Ayi. Now we come to the leaders. <laughs> eh? Leaders in your day. In your day. Mutongo letio, ni mundo guetuo governor Kananu. Nani ukonga hivya tuwa kirekia. Haya. Eh? Natuena women rep. Usio mukami uraga. Oye, ule atuwa ino mono. Dojo we. Eh ni ni ajoe haya onaweka na nuni to kumenya na umuthi Mr Ngatia you are wonderful ni kule na maina kam um, kama ule ya deputy ule ya leke idimwele muthenyo ucio kibani yakuire twari nake thibitari na ni ndi aroraga nyamu ici cia ikurukaga cia kemani niwe we ni aroraga ni ngekenyi tokio Dero ne penina te de moale die ne araigua. Genyi Tokyo. Giumanja gwe kate. No aromema ti kerera gano ne de kiri ati. De ha uja ale. Ne guomu hesmiwa. O kiri ake jera. It's over. Liu onawe mu hesmiwa. Thank you so much. Ni ora ata okaro mire ranginya godie. 
onario de mamu oneste divitari. We are so grateful. Eh, onaria amare da kuroga mana mego kunama hatire kere ona inue, noto muede te, yani kuroga magete, ti kuroga magete ini, kuroga ma kerea. Haya. Leu mutongolia ogeje te kerea. Jokes isyo siya kemani emwe ere erare nene munore. Ne nane joe mai kazi ni usio wetuo John Joroge Getahi. Ego oko. Diyo kane ekuo. Nuoya. To imagama diko ma granddaughter. Wamu duri. Yosio ni awa kazi ni. Eta kwa John Getahi. Nwa kuko nogo kire Getahi. Gehole ra kema ni idimo. Deke muere. Kulea toro ima. Nani ya kiyo yo koro wa kadaka u. Le ule kube adaki moho lera. Halo, nyomba, manstano. E, ile ni mwale kia. Ok, hale liye go kama akua e. Kanyamone kagoro kuru ke stage 4. Gemori ya mundo uko hana gati. Adeke kuwara njira akejera ora eda gwele ati ogena ni ogogio. Kide digyo kire. Ingi ya kere kako kakwari ya mananede di rogo kama keri. Kide chukuna ni uru. Inyue inyue the mo kire. Na mutina kwe tuwa haa haa. You really accept. Toki minyaka umude ni mudina wawira. God bless you. When my work is all done. And my ways here is run. Let me see. By the light thou have shown. This world is not my home. When my work is all done and my ways here is run, let me see by the light thou have shown that fairest city is so bright on the line, close the light. Take my hands, precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hands, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I'm weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hands, precious Lord, lead me home. This on a mogi ajira ni ne isio ike disio e joy o isio. Thank you, thank you, Mono. It's a good friend of mine. Hello, Toto. Hello, Toto. We taga. Ah, Bire boy, Bire boy, Bire boy. It's called Bire boy. Aya, na ni MC mwega muno. Idarele ni dreda, tuwe hariria ni gatha tudie wiroshi oge. Na tutasimama sisi wote. Ni gatha tutogorio ni atugateri na family. Ni gatha tukewea goro iboro mwero ya toko inane gashara. As we move out. Are ya togo kuwete. Mugu. Nekio mugu atoki uga mugu oshoke. Tukurago tukari yoharo wa muhu ulea. Na netore mudo wa mithi ya keu. Ona keo. Koguo. Tuheoro ipo. Nikata tumishoke. Kuthi haria. Kutuwa di togo di tore kie maudu. Mothe hamwe na mahoya. Tuwa hada mute wa bere. Ewe ge kuhaduo. Concurrently. Tukurikana norea. Tukuiruo ni the reader. Koguo togo ikoro. Tue hamwe. And let's maybe there is anything, Prof. No, come, no, come. We're going, we're at the Negoliga Nairo. We met here. Mote wa family diangui weho na mote wa cousins shia kemani shio the weho. Na na mo na mote ga menu the it will be live streamed. Ne mo ko irole ra ha to do mo ma mote yota ku na ne mo muregi ko wo we ko ge koro do ra ha dale ikaro hau. Ali amara hada madi mahade mashoke mashoke ha to shoke to the keko ro maud mang mag. Hi. You are a maud mother we kai. 
ufufuo na uzima asema bwana yeye aminie mimi ajapokufa atakuwa naishi kiraishie na kuniamini atakufa kamwe hata milele sasa kristo amefufuka katika wafu rubiko rao walio urara maana kwa kuwa mauti ililetwa na mtu kadhalika na ufufuo wa wafu uliletwa na mtu maana kama katika Adamu wote wanakufa hivyo hivyo katika Kristo wote watahuishwa Usiogope mimi ni wa kwanza na wa mwisho na aliye hai asema Bwana nami nalikuwa nimekufa na tasama ni hai tena hata milele na milele Sasa tunataka sasa kuendelea Sasa kwa vile ilimpendesha It we are going to do three times Mm. Just just a minute. Kama vile ilivyo mpendesa Mwenyezi Mungu kuichukua roho ya huyu ndugu wetu aliyefariki. Sasa twarudisha mwili wake ardhini udongo kwa udogo, majifu kwa majifu na mafumbi kwa mafumbi kwa maunt, kwa matumaini thabiti pasipo shaka ya uvua wa uzima wa milele kwa Yesu Kristo abaye ni bwana wetu. Amen. ya tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu uliyemtoa mwanao wa pekee kuwa ufufuo na uzima utufufue hata nasi rohoni zetu na tutakuja kufufuka pamoja naye twakuomba tutoke katika mauti ya dhambi tukaingie katika uzima wa milele ili tutakapotoka dunia hii tuishi na wewe bila mwisho na kama hivyo tumaini letu kwa huyu degu wetu na mwishoni tupate baraka zako na kukusikia ukisema vyema mtumwa mwema na mwaminifu ingia katika raha ya bwana wako utupe hawa yote kwa twakusihi e baba katika jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu tuombe maombi ya mwisho hebu tuombe ili sasa tukipanda miti ni kuendelea kupanda hiyo miti ingine mm, tuombe mungu tunakurudishia asanti kwa vile umekuwa nasi ara tukafika mwisho wa ibada 
na tunapomaliza na kufika mwisho wa kila kitu tunakwambia asante tumekuona tangu ndugu wetu agojeke na kumuita na kusimama na hii familia na hata tunapofika mwisho wa kila kitu amani yako ambayo inapita akili zote za binadamu iwa hifadhi mioyo yenu na yuride hata tukitoka kikao hiki na tukienda kuingine na kumalizia kila jambo na hata mambo mengine yote ambayo itakuja nyumae hii ni ombi la imani katika jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu amen It was good, it's well. You have a professor. Okay, the, the next one is the church. The church one next door here. Please let the clergy, Reverend Kimande, and the elders, they are there. They are there. They are there. Please uh, come. This is a. Uh, an important tree also. Uh,
Hello, Mimosa District. Mimosa District. Yeah, we'll do the same. Mimosa District, please come here. Can you tell me? Yeah. Can you tell me? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello? Wana Mimosa? Haya, fanyani hapo. Guild, Guild ya Evergreen, please. The Women's Guild. Women's Guild. Mutogoreti onenji na wake alie. This is your tree. Nari uha hali. Gashara. Kei demuti. Thank you. I buy more my first. Hey, my. Hey, my view. Thank you. Harafu mahei, leo ekerai kerea, ekerai teri. Yeah, very good. Famere ya diangui, please, etogolete yone moduli. Ithe wanansi. Ithe wanansi na famere ya diangui, please. Okai. Mahade mutuwe weta wamosharage. Okai. What is happening? Famere ya diangui. Ito goreti yone fava ni oke. Okay, family. Ya Johanna, family ya Johanna, Congo, family ya Johanna, please nito kwa tera ire mutogolete yono wa abuwi wake, na all the cousins, bereli, adua shio the, na shia na shiao, family ya Johanna, family ya Johanna, please come. Hey. Eh, uh, Captain, now do I get a kill there? Okay, me has you, Matthew, Kogo, Kogo, Payato, Kogo, Matthew, 
Maiko, Keith. No gitu. Eh? Okay, huyu ni mti ya familia ya Johanna Kongo. Tafadhali mpeleke pole pole mpaka muunda hii review tondu mtigera kuthukia. Ikorokia ikahora. Kogo kogo kahua kwe. Thank you Matthew ko. Matthew. Kange the stone. Kange the stone okay sawa. Getwara ikahora. Nigeza mutishio dukafashane. Uko uh, very good very good. Kewe kewe maya uh, sister wa boy. Na shia na shio the muitereria mutishio ginya ogunye. Eh. Muitoshio oyage shiko oyage shiko ina gishiko. Ogunye. En ogunye. Sawa? Mugalia kotide kana na guo. Thank you very much. Very good. There is okay. another All one the here, of The friends of Kemani Congo, led by Chamber President, please come. The Amotri's professor here. Yeah? The Amotri's here. Now I know, that's why I'm coming here. Okay. Chamber President, please come here. Followed by Governor Kananu. Uh, we are waiting for Richard Gatia uh, and all the friends, lions uh, of good times. Munakuja? Eh? Wapi be what? Wapi. Again, governor, we'll, we'll provide the, the governor one is coming. It's here. It's here. This, this one. Oh, she's part of the lion. So she will plan to. Okay, Sawa. All right. Hold, hold this. Hold this. Uh, bring, bring more water. There's water, water. there. Uh -huh. 
Olorian group tafadhali John karibu all the Olorian group I can see Mode there please bring the others eh okay Olorian Olorian mutiki okena one mutu wanyu yo yo Olorian dead dead muwe na gokoro do hota ko ina mari o jere ko ina mire ni eh me ha chi eh oya kina waura mawara ko ambi Okay, Governor Kanano. Governor, this is your second tree because this is specifically for the governor. Come here with your team. Come here with your team. Thank you. Thank you. This is a special tree. It's a fruit tree. And Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We can resort. Ongeza tu. Ongeza. I yote ni lazima yongeza tu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mpigiani makofi, Governor. Asante sana. Next time we come, this, this tree will bear fruit. Uh, yes, and, uh, and Kemani up here will be laughing all the way and loving it. Thank you so much. Asante sana. We can go back so that we can announce the method by which people... Uh, we go back into the tent briefly so Please. that we can uh, dismiss you into the tent into the tent please briefly. Please let us come back to the tent yes so that we can give you some 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 feel just something we want to clarify to, to let us come back to the tent all of us all of us whoever is when you ask is a father to get it in dog or two Wara wa konja tafadhali kujeni 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 igieni dani those who are outside kindly get into the tent so that to uh, to elekeze hapo pengine including the family thank you please please let's hurry up those who are outside please get in so that we can we can
give you just just two announcements. Thank you, thank you. Uh, God is good. God is good. And all the time, God is good and that is his nature. Now we want to announce to you that we have food. Na negweta professor Karaja oke to he mutaratara wa ore andu mekuria. And then madam Mama Joan, where are you? Mama Joan, please come and pray for food as professor gives us the direction. Mama Joan. Mama Joan, please come and pray for food as professor gives us the the direction on how we shall be served. Hiya. If Mama Joan is not is not around, let me ask let me ask these ladies please to come and pray for food. We have enough food with oh okay mama joan please come and pray for food as professor gives us the direction on how we'll take the food thank you Wacheni tuombe Bwana asifiwe let us pray Nitwago te ya muno mwadhani na nitwago shokeria gado ni todo awe gana utugi wa ku Jehovah Gai Thank you, Neto Dunu Coreto. We have a great day. 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 The Kirago to you, Ria Goroshi, Tonashia, Homo de Rumo the Maki, together to Karaga to Nadayo, not to Nagi Keno Jehovah Gai. I got the Amo the Maki Munena to Aqua Baradia. You are going to read it to Arutariaki Mani Jehovah Gai, there were taken a Kakura Madani, now we Karagia, Gaida with a family, Yah, Mrs. Kimani. Thank you, Jehovah Gai, Neto Dua, we gonna be Hokekua, Kutuana to Akuna here, and the day no worry to Aria Jesu, to Ahoya, Hona to Ashokia God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nio gezei microphone to Fadari. Asante. Now the uh, uh, the family. Ah, uh, come, Professor. Give us the direction. Okay, the directions are like this. There's plenty of food. You get some. Everybody will queue here. These tents are full of food. You'll get your servings from here. Uh, the honourable. Uh, governor and a few family friends will will go to the to the house in here. There's a place that will sit there. But everybody, feel free. It's uh, the service will start right now uh, in this direction. That tent is full of food. You pick your food and you come and sit here and eat. Thank you. God bless you very much. Thank you very much, Professor DJ. Now you can give us some cool music.